life. So not even related to the solar eclipse. That's just husky stuff. That's just husky life. Yeah, yeah. They are. They're so much fun. I have a. a she's three. Yeah, she's three years old. Wow. Yeah, little baby. She's gonna be not looking forward to today. She doesn't like anything that interrupts her routine. Um, and so we're got a lot interrupting the routine <laughs> this <laughs> afternoon. Just gonna interrupt everyone's routine. Pretty today. much. Yeah, yeah. So we've got a lot going on. The good news is the forecast. I think is trending in a pretty good direction. Great. So we're looking positive. Uh, those of you head out the door this morning. Do you expect to see a couple rounds of light showers and some cloudy skies during the first part of the day? You're going to need at least the umbrella, maybe the rain jacket, dealer's choice. We do get to see, of course, some partial clearing just in time for the eclipse. So do not forget the eclipse glasses today. And uh, you might want a light jacket too as temperatures a little chilly as you're waking up and stepping out the door. Most of us sitting in those 40s and 50s. Heath and Newark looking pretty good right now. Can't see it, but we do have those mostly cloudy skies. We are talking about, of course, those light showers that we're moving through shortly. Um, most areas are starting to dry things out, but you can still see that wet pavement from the rain through the evening and overnight hours. So what do you need to know today? Starting with a couple raindrops, ending on the dry side. We really start to see that clearing as we get into lunchtime. Some of us might start to clear a little bit earlier, but we're going to be dealing with two kind of layers of clouds today. Um, we've got some high, thin, upper level stuff that's actually thanks to the system that's moving through right now. So again, seeing those isolated showers and some light stuff around areas like Mount Vernon, Coshocton, maybe seeing some drizzle. Same goes for areas like Newark, Zanesville, Lancaster, Logan, even into portions of Circleville and Bell Fountain. Just a couple rain drops for now. This system is beginning to push out. As it does, those high thin clouds are going to become a little bit more sparse and they're going to start to break down. However, some of them might still be sticking around. That might lead to a slightly hazy view of the eclipse at times. The other type of clouds we're contending with are going to be some lower level stuff. Those happen every day just because of the sun, daytime heating. And when we get to totality, there's a chance that we see those start to break down. So some clouds will clear during totality as our temperatures drop by a couple degrees. It will be a difference you can feel at least for a couple minutes. We see it, the sun return temperatures begin to climb again and we will see highs later today reach those 70s. So again, clouds, some light showers out there to start. As we get into totality, we see that high, thin, upper level stuff. Here we are at lunchtime into 2 p.m. as we start to see that initial uh, contact with the moon. We're now looking at some still high, thin, upper level stuff. Some of it's clearing. So there is a chance that we see some clear skies just in time for totality. So today, not half bad. We see those highs hit 72 degrees. We're going to cool things down over the next couple of days with several chances for showers and even some thunderstorms through this week. I'm going to toss